spectators, welcome to your Matler show. I am Looney and there's Pete. How are you? Good evening, everyone. <laughs> How's it? I'm fine, Looney. How's it, everyone? It's Friday. No, it's not Friday. It's Thursday. How yeah. did I get that wrong? So it's Thursday, but it's late Thursday, which means it's like quarter to Friday. And that is great news, number one, because it means we're doing mathematical literacy, which is absolutely brilliant. Yes. And tonight is a very, very, very memorable evening for me okay because guys this time 11 years ago my wife was about to give birth to my firstborn in fact he was my only born so <laughs> i only got the one kid so i thought what i do is first of all say to him out there hey boy happy birthday i hope you have a great 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 day then i thought i would show you this photograph now the producer's going to tell me when he can see this photo he says that's perfect well the photo is not perfect but you can see it Okay, so you can see what you must have looked like when you came freaking out of your mother. Okay, rather, it's just blood and guts and everything. And I remember the day he was born, looking at my wife and thinking, what have you done? It was just horrible. It was ugly. Okay, and it hasn't got better. He's still ugly. But anyway, that's how it goes. We got guests in the studio. Yes, You're going to introduce them, yes, are you? Yes, yes. We've got Kyle and James. Hello, guys. How's it? How are you guys? doing? Good, Good thanks. Evening. Good. Just tell us about yourselves, what you're doing here. Like, why are you here, guys? Okay, I'm at St. Cecilia's College. I'm in matric. Mr. Templeton's my math teacher. Has his moments. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm James. I'm also at St. Cecilia's College in matric. He happened to be my math teacher as well. Yeah, but sometimes you wonder if you even attend the classes. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, don't forget to hit us up on Facebook and on Twitter at Learn Extra. You can download the show notes, the videos, and the schedules on learn.mindset.co.za. Big happy birthday to DJ for tomorrow. Mm. Happy 11 years. You're turning 11 on the 11th. That's so cool. Guys, just a reminder to you guys, from Monday, we are giving away calculators from Casio for the Test Yourself Question Competition. So if you watch on Monday, show from Monday, we'll be giving away these calculators. Just another hint for you guys, we have view and download on our Facebook page for the link for the notes. So if you don't have a smartphone to download, you can just view the notes on the view link. I've got two notes on the Facebook page, so check that out. And calculators are phenomenal things, guys, and you're gonna see that we're gonna be working with them quite a bit, okay? And uh, Carl, I really hope you're going to um, kind of enter this competition because I think it'll be super, <laughs> my boy, if you get a calculator. Do you have one? Yes, sir. You wouldn't think so when your markers work. But never forget. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Carl's doing very well. In fact, I want to say this. These two boys have just written their exam, okay? Um, first of all, they're both in my class, but I've got two different classes. So Carl's in the clever class. And James is in the other class. Okay, so, no, 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 that's a joke. That's not right. And I want to say that I've marked um, James's work. And guys, he has a good thing, eh? Live TV, your marks are getting announced. How cool is yes, that? Yes, tell us. 92%. How cool is oh that? Oh, my God. Fantastic. That is cool. Then there's Carl's work. Mm. All right. Now, one thing I'll say about Carl's work, so far, I haven't found a mistake. Impressive, but then I haven't started marking his. That's, oh. right. so that's how it goes. Okay. all right, folks. What are we doing tonight? Tonight, we're looking at this whole concept of interest, and let's have a look what we're going to try and cover. So, in this lesson, we're going to uh, introduce and cover questions relating to interest and interest rates, simple interest, compound interest higher purchase agreements, and then interpreting and using tables showing compounded values. Now, a lot of this work you started doing when you were in grade 10. Okay? A lot of this work you carried on doing when you were in grade 11. And now, you've just covered in it, some of it in the last week or so. So we've done it in grade 10, we've covered it in grade 11, and oh, many of you out there would have just covered it now in grade 12. So a lot of this, you're going to see it and say, man, I know this. And because you know it, you're going to get great marks for it at the end of the year. Okay? And even in your July exams and in your prelim exams. Okay, so let's get going. First of all, before we even, um, in fact, yeah, let's just get going. All right, here we go. So... Our, um, uh, in fact, you know what? We're going to give the challenge question, I think, at the end of this lesson. I 
think so. Yeah. Okay? Should we do that? All right. Cool. So let's just have a look here, guys. Let's just discuss, first of all, the difference between interest and interest rates. Okay. What is the difference between interest <laughs> and interest rate? Who's going to take this? Carl, you knew on the program, <laughs> tell us. Right. First of all, what's an interest rate? Honestly, you don't even know, sir. You don't know, hey? You do know. You're just <laughs> pretending I know he, that. He James, just doesn't tell remember. Us. An interest rate is the amount of interest that is being charged on your money. So it's, yeah, it's like a okay. figure. Okay, so if it's, it's the amount that's being charged, what would you then say is the interest? Oops. Is I've done something wrong here. Okay, there we go. Um, right. It's the interest is the result of your interest rate. So if you're charged at a certain interest rate, your interest is how much you're earning off that interest rate. Okay. So basically, what you're telling me, in fact, you're not telling me, but I'll interpret it for <laughs> you. Basically, what James is trying to tell us is this: that the interest rate is the percentage, whereas the interest itself is the monetary value of that interest okay so let's say for example i see that we putting a hundred rand in the bank why just because okay and we're going to be given 10 percent interest every year so our interest rate is 10 percent what would our interest be on that what's 10 percent of 100 we know this 10 rand. 10 rand, yeah. absolutely. Well done, Carl. Okay, <laughs> so our interest is 10 rand, but our interest rate is 10%. Okay, now why is that important to know? Well, guys, first of all, it's important to know because in an exam, an examiner may say to you, what is the interest? Or he could say to you, what is the interest rate? Now, if an examiner says, what's the interest, and you give the rate, you're not actually answering that question. And in the same way, if he says, what's the interest rate, and you give the monetary value, you're not answering that question again. Okay? Are we clear on that? So you've got to know the difference between interest and interest rates. Right, Carl, you now know. Yes, sir. Tell the viewers. Look straight in the camera and let them know. The difference between the interest and interest rate. Absolutely. Okay, interest is the money earned... Not the money earned, the money that you invest, and then the interest rate is what that what you earn on that amount okay, after you so put the in the bank. Interest is the money that you earn. earn. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Fantastic. Right. The next thing we've got to look at is this whole concept of simple interest and compound interest. Now I have a little confession to make, and it's basically this: that I really don't know any bank that uses simple interest. Okay. Whenever we take out a loan, whenever we deposit money and put it in a savings account, all our interest is calculated using compound interest. So why do we learn about simple interest? Well, first of all, we could use simple interest to calculate compound interest. If we calculate the simple interest for one year, get an answer. Use the simple interest again for another year, get an answer. Use, oh, geez, it just takes forever. Or we can use a compound interest formula, and we only need to do one single calculation. Okay, so, in short, the difference between simple interest and compound interest is with simple interest, what's happening to my interest, James? It remains the same, the same all the time, okay? Whereas compound interest, what's happening? It's just, it's getting bigger. It's okay, my bigger. interest is getting bigger. Why is my interest getting bigger, Carl? Do you know? Mm, no, sir. Okay, well, let me explain, because this is something a lot of viewers don't understand. The reason why my interest gets bigger is because if, let's say, I put 100 rand in the bank, okay, and I'm now telling you I'm earning 10% interest every, 10% uh, uh, simple interest, okay? In fact, let's tell a story. Let's pretend that Carl and James are friends, okay? <laughs> and Carl gets to school one Monday morning, and he's hungry. He's always hungry. Is this that is right? Cheese. It's this is cheese. Cheese. Okay, it's cheese. But Carl never brings any food. And so Carl approaches James and says to James, James, oh, have some money, brew, 
Is that what you say, hey? Yes, sir. Send that money, bro. Oh, give me some money, bro. Okay. And James says, okay, well, here it is. How much do you need? And uh, Kyle says, I don't eat very much. Just give me a hundred. Okay. <laughs> so uh, James Jeez. now hands Kyle a hundred rand. Kyle's now got this hundred rand. Says to James, hey, bro, I'll mm. give it back to you tomorrow. Cool? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, what will happen tomorrow? Kyle's not going to give you that money, is no. he? No, of course not. So Kyle doesn't give uh, James the money back at all. The next day, to, uh, the Wednesday, okay, Carl walks along, sees James and thinks, yes, like I don't have this O's money. And so ducks and dives and misses James. And this is like a true story, isn't this it? Is exactly <laughs> this is exactly happening. what happens on a weekly basis. Exactly. So now what actually happens is uh, James still hasn't got his money back. Eventually on Friday, uh, Carl says to James, hey, brew, here's your hundred rand. Okay? And James is a little bit annoyed. The next Monday comes, and Carl is happy again. Okay? <laughs> Says to James, James, hey, bro, how's a hundred rand? Okay? How's that? And James is not so dope anymore. Okay? He says to <laughs> Carl, okay, I'll give you the hundred rand, but here is the condition. I'm going to charge you 10% interest every day that you let okay and i'm going to charge you simple interest 10 percent simple interest now carl doesn't know what that means so he says <laughs> okay bro just give the 100 rand stomach's rumbling okay <laughs> so off he goes and he spends the 100 rand the tuesday comes along and carl realizes he hasn't got the money the wednesday comes along Carl sees James and hides, right? Eventually, now, on Monday, by Tuesday, how much, James, does Carl owe, owe you? 10% every day. He owes me, wait, wait from Monday to yeah. Tuesday. How much is 10%? 10 rand. 10 rand. 10 rand. <laughs> 10 rand. <laughs> Absolutely. On Wednesday or something. Okay, yeah. cool. So you guys are helping each other, which is kind of nice, just like you did in the test the other day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now... 10 rand. So if he owed you 100 and now you've charged him 10 rand interest, how much does he owe you? 110 rand. 110, 110 rand. rand. Absolutely. Okay. Now what happens is the Wednesday comes along. Now James is still charging him a 10% simple interest. So the simple interest is based on the amount that has been loaned. Okay. So you loan him how much money? A hundred oh, rand. rand yeah. How much interest again 10%. for another day? Another ten percent, which is ten rand. ten rand. Okay. So if he owed you one hundred and ten plus the next day's ten, how much? One hundred and twenty rand. Absolutely. Now what actually happens is on the next day, how much is he going to owe you now? One hundred and thirty. One hundred and thirty rand. Absolutely. Why? Because he owed him one hundred and twenty. He's got ten rand interest for the next day, which makes. A hundred and, oops, what am I doing? We'll make that a three. hundred and thirty <laughs> rand. Okay, that's starting to look like your work. Huh? All right, so there he is, a hundred and thirty. The next day comes along, eventually, Carl, it's Friday, comes along to James says, Hey, bro, here's your hundred rand. And James says, No, 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 pal. We had a deal. And the deal was, you were going to, I was going to charge you 10% every day. Okay? Now another 10 rand for Friday gets us up to 140 40 rand. So he says to Carl, I want 140 bucks, please. Okay? Carl now goes to court. <laughs> okay. In fact, you know what, hey? Seeing you a female, we can call you my lady. Oh wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, this is a courtroom. Let's get serious. So Carl goes to court, says to my lady, my lady. I lend him 100 rand, he now wants 140 rand. They call me in as a witness. I say, based on simple interest, he owes 140 rand. End of story. Okay? My lady agrees, he gets a fine or gets got to pay uh, James 140 rand. Okay? Now, that is simple interest. What is simple interest? The 10 rand staying the same every single day. The next Monday comes along. 
Jeez, nearly time for an air break, so we've got to move it with the story. The next Monday comes along and Carl is hungry again. Okay? Goes to Jay and says, how's it brew? Give me a hundred red again. Stomach rumbling, all the other stuff. Okay? So James says, hey, you know, last week I learned about something called compound interest. Carl won't know what that is. We can make more money out of it. So he says, Carl, cool. 10% compound interest. Carl says, yeah, whatever, brew. Give me the money. Okay? Off you go. Now, He's got a hundred rand, James. Yep. Ten percent. Okay. Of a hundred rand is what? Ten rand. Which means he now owes you. One hundred and ten rand. One hundred and ten rand. So there's the interest he now owes you. One hundred and ten rand. Now, James, I put it to you. <laughs> <laughs> would the next day he still owe you another ten rand, or would it be something different? something different it'd be something different because you said compound interest, interest yeah. and compound interest folk is interest based on the outstanding balance so no longer are we looking at 10 percent on the 100 rand but we're now looking at 10 percent on 110 yeah. rand and i can just visualize now what kyle and what um, James is saying, please don't ask me what is 10%, but I'm going to ask him anyway. 10% of 110? Uh, 11 rand. Well done. Okay, of course, you can see he's got a great team. <laughs> <laughs> right. So it's now 11 rand. What does he owe you on the Wednesday? 110 plus 11. Absolutely, which is going to be 121. 21, 21 rand. rand. So the next day, it's 10%, not on the 100 rand, not on the 110, but now on the 100 rand? 21. 21 rand, okay. And that's right, Akal. It's going to be 12 rand, 10 cents. Okay. Now when we add all that up, are we going to start needing a calculator, guys? I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> three, three. You now owe my 133 rand, 10 cents. Agreed? We're now taking 10% on that outstanding amount, which now is going to land up being, what's it? 13 rand? Mm -hmm. 31 cents. Okay. Add that, we've now got 41 cents, 6 for 146 rand, 41 cents. So Friday comes along, He uh, Carl goes to James and says, Hey, Brew, I got your money. No, no, don't fight. I remember he has an extra 40 rand. Okay. And James says, No, 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 no. That was last week. That was simple interest, Brew. It's now compound interest. Which means you now owe us, or owe him, 146 rand 41. Carl gets upset. We go back to the same court. My lady is ruling again. She calls in the witness. I say, yeah, oh, compound interest. This is what it's all about. My lady rules. He pays. He smiles. He's happy. And the whole world moves on. Okay? Yes, that's how we must just deal with it. Okay. So guys, <laughs> in a nutshell, simple interest, we're charging interest on the amount that um, that we've lent or borrowed or whatever the case is, the initial amount. Compound interest is interest on that amount that's owing every day. So every time the uh, interest is added, we now get charging interest on the amount plus the previous interest. So it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And because of that, we land up with phenomenal graphs, which we'll talk about after the break. All right. Mindset says we are going to take a break. And Nico, if you're watching, Puff, you are watching, because you just said you also want to 92% for your match lit, you make sure you work hard, like some people in the studio. Okay. <laughs> work very hard, and you'll get that 92%. Mindset says we are going to see you straight after the break. So don't go anywhere. I'll see you now, now. Welcome back, my sisters from the break. Quick reminder, those of you who are asking where the challenge question is, it is up on our Facebook page, but we'll go through it in the last segment of the show. So, yeah. Right, folk, welcome back. So, just before the ad break, we were looking at simple interest, compound interest. We came across a very realistic story, something that happens on a regular basis, where Carl just takes everyone's money and eats and eats and eats. And then just before the break as well, we said that a compound interest and a simple interest graph can be plotted on a set of axes, and they give two very different graphs and two very 
interesting graphs. Okay, so I, if I were to draw the graph, I could draw a graph like that. Okay, that's a straight line, by the way. All right? Yeah. And another graph I could do would be something like that. Okay. Yeah. So the one is a straight line. Which interest is our straight line? The simple interest. The simple interest. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Why is it a straight line, Carl? Because it's a set amount every month. So okay. Continue. What word jumps to mind when you see a straight line? Uh, constant. Absolutely. Learned well, hey? <laughs> Whenever I see a straight line, the word constant has got to jump to mind. And what is constant with simple interest? The payment, every, the interest rate the every interest. month. Absolutely. Simple interest, the interest. Makes sense. Okay. So every month, do you remember when you borrowed money on the simple interest? <laughs> what was that simple interest every day? Ten, 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 rand, ten, ten, ten rand, ten rand, ten rand, ten rand, ten rand, ten rand. Okay. So there was an increase which was constant on a daily basis. Now when we look at compound, what did we notice? What was our first day's interest? Uh, was it 10, 10 rand? rand. Yeah, okay. 10 rand. The second day was 11, 11, 11 rand. rand. The third day was 12, 12 rand 31 something or something like, like that. that. But the interest was getting more and, and more and more. Now here's an interesting thing. On day one, our interest was 10 rand. The next day, it was 11 rand. So how much extra was the interest? One rand. One rand. The following day, the interest was 12 rand 31. The previous day, it was 11 rand. I don't know what that is, eh? Let's just try and get rid of that, shall we? I think there's a rubbing here. There we go. Okay, cool. Right. So the next day, it was, uh, the previous day was 11 rand. What's the interest difference? 12. 1 rand, rand 31. <laughs> 31. <laughs> so the interest is getting more and more and more and more. And that's why I don't longer have a straight line, but I have now a curved line. Because the interest is increasing the whole time. So chaps, when we see, and I say chaps because I always teach chaps, but you know what I mean. Hey, guys mm -hmm. and girls out there. When I see a straight line, and it's talking about interest, simple interest. Soon as I see a curvy line, which maths people call like a hyperbola thing, all right? Yeah. <laughs> we now know we're dealing with compound interest. Are we clear on that? You guys okay with that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, the next thing we've got to look at is this wonderful concept of something called higher purchase. James, yes. you love this section on higher purchase. What yes. is it? Higher purchase is so when you buy something, you can't pay for something straight up front for the original price. So let's say a couch costs 250,000 Rand. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's let's a say nice 2,500. It's a nice couch, imported. So then if you can't pay for that up front with 250,000, you can pay it off on a higher purchase. Meaning? Me, you know, the, the thing, sir. <laughs> You know when you, that's how you do it. But you just hire purchase. <laughs> Carl, <laughs> is, uh, Carl told me earlier. So, Carl, is it when you pay like a set amount each month Absolutely after you? Absolutely, Carl. Brilliant. Okay. So let's say, for example, I want to buy this <laughs> couch. Let's keep the figures realistic. We won't call it two hundred and fifty thousand rand. We'll call it two thousand five hundred. Just like a serious put. If I had a couch that cost two hundred and fifty thousand, I wouldn't let anyone sit on it. Okay. Yeah, it so we got a couch that cost two thousand five hundred rand. I go to buy the couch but I don't have the money and the shop attendant says to me hey no problem no problem we can strike up a deal okay give me a deposit and I'll ask you what a deposit is now but give me a deposit and every month for the next two years you just got to give me 200 rand that's all okay now I'm thinking geez 200 rand is quite cheap hey I can pay I like this deal we'll take it and so higher purchases when I basically hire something from a company, okay, or a furniture store or, or whatever, wherever I'm buying it from. So I buy it from them, I hire it from them for a period of two years or three years, whatever the contract states. And after hiring it for that two-year period at a set amount every single month, it now becomes mine. Okay, we understand? But I mentioned something called a deposit. Carl, what's a deposit? It's a portion of the full payment that you pay in, like when you like get the thing and then 
you pay on to that every month to get the total amount. Absolutely. Okay. So the shop says, right, you can take the couch, right? And then Carl, let's say it's you, okay? So Carl says, cool, I'm going to take this couch. And he grabs, he starts walking, okay? The shopkeeper checks out Carl and says, hey, this doesn't look like a good character, this one, okay? <laughs> so he says, well, come back, come back. We want a down payment. In other words, we want a deposit. Give us 15% of the value of that couch up front. So we know you really mean business, okay? So Carl will then have to find 15% of that 2,500 Rand, and then on top of that, pay his 200 Rand every month. Now guys, what we need to understand is when we buy something on higher purchase, we don't always land up paying back exactly what that couch costs. Mm. We normally pay, land up paying what? More, more or less? More. More, more. absolutely. Okay. <laughs> no shop's going to say, here, take our stuff and we're not going to worry about it. They're going to charge you interest on that. Okay. The other thing a lot of companies do is they've got something called an administration fee. What, what's an administration fee, chaps? No clue. Okay. I don't <laughs> remember. You don't remember, all right. Uh, an admin fee, chat, uh, folk, is when the company says, you know what, every month we've got to send them a statement. Every month we've got to post them the statement. Every month we've got to use ink to print the statement. Every month, uh, when we drew up the contract, we had to get all that contract drawn up. So we're going to charge them 7 Rand 50 every month on top of that 200 Rand. And we're going to call that an admin fee. In other words, it's got nothing to do with what I'm buying. It's got to do with the fact that all the administration and the paperwork that goes behind that deal. So they charge you for that every month as well. Okay. So those are little things you always got to be aware of. All right. Then the next thing we're going to look at after that is this whole concept of interpreting and using tables. But we'll look at that later on. Okay. Let's go on. Folk, we'll go look at the challenge question after the break. Okay, so now we get to the section where we haven't even got to a question yet. Hey? We're now looking at summary notes. Good heavens. Okay, <laughs> so what is the difference between interest and interest rate? So uh, the percentage, um, let's read this again, the interest rate, this is the percentage um, at which interest is calculated. The interest is the actual monetary value of the loan. Then simple interest, we use a special formula. And guys, the great thing between the simple interest formula and the compound interest formula is you don't have to learn it. Why not, guys? It's in the paper. It's given. Okay, it's given to you. What do you have to know, though? You have to know which values are represented in the letter. So Absolutely. What All right. values so we've got to know what is my A value? What's my P value? What's the N? What's the R? Got to know all that stuff. And we look at that just now uh, when we look at an uh, example. Then we're saying higher purchase is actually the deposit plus the monthly installments times the number of months plus that monthly, monthly fee. Okay, lovely. Let's start looking at a question. Right, question one. Consider the following formula when answering this question, which comprises of a set of multiple choice questions. Okay. Now, chaps, what is my feeling on multiple choice questions? Are they straightforward and easy, or are they a bit tough to answer? They're tough to answer because they Why? can confuse you. Because they, most answers might seem similar or the same, but they're actually okay. not. So when we derive, or, or when we make up multiple choice questions, folk, we tend to put the answers in uh, because we know the mistakes students are going to make. And so when students do the little calculation and they make the mistake, they look up and say, hey, there's the answer. It's number A. And they circle and they're proud because A is on the paper and it's on their calculator. Meantime, it's the wrong thing altogether. Okay. So when a person sets multiple choice questions, they don't just put any random answers in. They think, what will the students do wrong? Let me do that wrong and see what answer I get. What else could they do wrong? Let me make that mistake as well and put that answer. So although the answer will be in one of the choices, it doesn't mean it's necessarily correct. You've got to make sure you've done the correct working. And I always tell you guys that. Yes, okay. Sir. 
especially James. He gets so excited when he sees the answer on the paper, and then he just gets a whole lot of crosses. <laughs> okay, so now we got these multiple choice. Here are three formulas that are given to you. Formula one: A is equal to P bracket one plus R times N. What formula is that, guys? For what? Formula yeah. one. That's compound. Interest. Compound. Absolutely. Okay. So this is the compound when I'm finding the total amount that's in the bank. What is this formula? Simple. Simple interest. Okay. And that's simple, but again, it's for finding the total. What is this formula? That's to find the interest, how much interest is being earned. Okay, just the interest. Just not the All interest right. rate. Cool. So it's also simple, but it's just the interest. Are we clear on that? Yes. Okay, yep. so now we know what those formulas are. Let's read this. On the day his son turns 19, a father went off to the bank and deposited 100,000 rand. Sure, I'll put it to you, this lady. Where would he have got that 100,000 rand from? Okay, let's move on. He puts it in a bank account that was offering 4,75% um, per annum. What's per annum mean, Carl? Per year. Absolutely. Cool. <laughs> Compound <laughs> interest. Now, this is kind of important. Eh? Presume the interest rate remains unchanged and presume that the father leaves 100,000 Rand in the bank without depositing or withdrawing any money until the son turns 21 years old. As a 21st birthday present, the father withdraws all the money from the bank and gives the son the interest that was accumulated. Okay. Each of the following, just write down the letter, right? Let's not worry about it. Right, so here we go. Read the question to me, um, James. Which formula should one use when working with this problem? Okay, what is the problem dealing with? Simple interest or compound? Uh, compound. Compound. And where's my compound interest? What formula? Uh, formula formula one. 1. Absolutely. Where's Formula 1? A. 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 Brilliant. Right, Carl, read the next one for me. The 100,000 Rand is represented by... The P, the A, the R, the N. Now remember, our formula is A is equal to P 1 plus R all to the power of N. Cool? So what is the, where is the 100,000 going to fit into this? James? That's A, P. It's the P. <laughs> it's the A, P. It's, <laughs> it's P. It's P, which is letter A. Geez, that was confusing, eh? <laughs> it's A, P. It's P. It's P, A. It's Advanced okay. Right, let's go. Sounds, sounds like a, a political party. Yeah. Right, now, 4,5% <laughs> is represented by what? I. The I, the interest. Okay, cool. Now, here's a good one. 4,5%, can this be written as what? 475? 4,75? Nord comma four seven five or nord comma nord four seven five. That's C nord comma four oh, seven yes. five. Nord comma four seven five. Absolutely yeah. wrong, hey? Okay. <laughs> Why is he wrong, Carl? <laughs> That's I'd a lie. No clue. I would I would say C or D. C or D. You would go with C or D. You'd pull yeah. out a coin in the exam. Flip it up, see where it lands, and that's how you make the call. If I wasn't sure, yeah. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> word. Okay. Guys, 4,75% is over 100. As D. Okay. Now, out comes the calculator, and we say 4.75 over 100 equals... North comma... Oh, four, seven, C, o, C or D. Cal was close enough. Okay. Yeah, I was just saying what it out. Okay, so. Similar, same thing. Right, the value for N. Okay, so N is the number of? Years. Years, okay. In this case, what's it going to be? The 100,000, the 3, 4, 7, 5, or 2? Two? 2. 2. Because it was 2 years, wasn't it? Yes, okay. Sir. It was from 19 to 20 to 21. Right. Finally, the father will give the son how much money at the end of it. Now, guys, you can't answer that just by looking to a yard's thing. We've actually got to do the calculation. So we're going to say, I have, let's do this calculation. Let's find room. Here we go. We've got the calculation A, or the formula rather, is equal to P1 plus I all to the power of N. Okay. What was our P value, chaps? 100,000. 100,000 Rand. Excellent. One plus. 
What was my interest rate? 4.75. And as a, over 100. Or I could write it as? 0.075. 0.04. 4.75. Brilliant. <laughs> and for how many years? Two. Okay. And then we're going to do it on our calculator. Oh, not three. Okay. <laughs> Should um, I do this or do you want to come out here and do it? Uh, Carl can do it. Carl? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Carl, let's do this. All right. So what are we doing now? We're going to try and push 100,000. Cool. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Brackets. One plus interest. Five and then brackets and then square. Brilliant. Okay. And, and click equals. equals. But okay. Right. So here we go. I'm going to push that button to make sure we <laughs> yes get sir. it. Right. So there's our answer. 109,000. 725 and ah now look what this examiner's done Two. that's ah. ugly isn't it okay it's quite which ugly. one is it going to be chaps it's going to be a. 62 cents or 63 cents 63 cents absolutely five, why yeah. because you round it's money you always keep it to two decimal places and okay you round it up and the, the five, five means we're going to round, it round. To so up. okay so the answer is d brilliant was no, it? Did a. I make a mistake? No, it's, uh, it's a. a. It's going to be a. 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 Hundred and ah, oh, that's right. Gets cool. At the end. Okay. What did I? I don't know why I did that. <laughs> hey, what was I looking at? You were looking at the interest. Just the interest, interest. interest, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Made a mistake. That's embarrassing. I put it to you, my lady. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Right. So <coughs> I can't remember. You right. can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was doing was I looked at the interest not the full amount. And the question asked us, Carl, how much money did he get? Did the son get the full amount? He didn't just get the interest. He got everything. Okay. So the father will give the son 109,007. Is that right? Have we read the question correctly? We have. Uh, the question says, so. uh, fair, the father draws all the money from the bank, gives the son, ah, hold on, hold on. This is not just a pretty face. <laughs> okay. He gives the son what? The interest. interest. Only the interest. <laughs> so I ask you with tears in my eyes, <laughs> who was right initially, my lady? Oh, okay. You're okay. Right. Oh. So it is the 9,725 rand and 63 cents. And on that confusing note, I think we need to take an ad break. Just one thing I want you to do for me during the ad break, guys. It's actually quite sad. So. James comes to us every studio, and uh, yesterday his mother and father went on holiday and left him by. <laughs> and I just think it's so funny, I really do. So, um, but I can understand it, I don't blame you. <laughs> but if there's anyone out there who would like to adopt a friend or something like that and feel sorry for them, why don't you give them a call on 076? No, I can't give you <laughs> Okay, let's time for a nap. All right, so we're going to go for a break. We've got James up for grabs if you want to win. James, you can just... Pick him up at seven after the show, guys. Okay, so let's go for a break and we'll see you straight after this. Welcome back, guys, from a very short break. Is that it? Yes. Yeah, Short, sweet, to the yeah, point. Yeah, no more talking about Hey, not even a my lady, I put it to you or no, anything. No, I don't okay. remember. All right, folks, during the ad break, <laughs> James uh, did one or two, gave us one or two jokes. Uh, kind of complicated things. You really <laughs> had to think about it, and my lady didn't know what on earth was going on. James, tell us the first one you told us. Okay. If you're running a race, and you overtake the guy in second place, what position are you in? Okay, now how do we wait for someone to respond? Because everyone's yeah. on TV, yeah, we can't James hear it. So okay, <laughs> and I think the natural answer would be if second. you're running a race, you overtake someone in second, you must be coming first. first. Yeah. I think that's how people do it. But what is the answer? You're in second. You're in second. You want to? You were in third. And then do, the, do the hand the thing. Is that he There's is three people running the race, and this is the second guy, right? <laughs> you overtake the guy in second, therefore you're in second because he has the guy in first. 
today. It's quite a scientific explanation. You've got to really grapple with the fact. I don't see any science in that at all, but you go for it, boy. Hopefully your science teacher's watching and you've got an extra 3%. That'll make it a total of 4. Okay, so, so we're looking at interest. We're having loads of fun with interest. Now, let's look at this question behind me. Complete the following table. We put money into a bank for two months. The amount in the account at the beginning of that month is 20,000 Rand. Okay. The interest rate is 4,5% per year compounded monthly. Right? So we've got to now work out how much money are we going to have in this account at the end of month one. More importantly, how much money are we going to have in our account at the end of month two? Okay. James, what's the first thing we're going to do, boy? Uh, we're going to first find the, the interest. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I've gone what, blank. What, 4.5%? Okay. He's still mm -hmm. coming second, third. Trying to work out my joke. He hasn't understood his own joke. He's trying to work it out. Okay. <laughs> so basically, we've got to say, well, how much interest do I have? Okay. Now, Carl, what interest are we being charged every year? 4.5%. 4.5%. Would you agree? Now, how can I write 4,5? Another way of doing it. 0, 0,4. 4. 5. Point, Excellent. Yeah. Why? How did we get 0, 0,045? Over 4.5 over 100. Excellent. 4,5 divided by 100 gives us 0, 0,045. Oh. Now, uh, uh, Carl, that interest rate is for how long? Uh, per year. Per year. Are so we keeping our money in for a full year? No, one what month. What are we keeping it for one month? Okay. So after a month, we can't go to our bank manager and say, Hey, give me my 4,5%. He's going to say, No, hold it, brew. If you're the bank manager. Okay? <laughs> hold it, brew. Okay. It can't be 4,5%. It's 4,5% if you leave that money in for the entire year. But we're not leaving it in for the entire year. We're only leaving it in for... 12 months, uh, sorry, for one month of the 12 months. So what must we do to that interest rate? Divide, Divide by 12. Divide by 12, absolutely. Okay. So we're going to try and find 0, 0, 0,045 divided by 12 of what? To um, uh, 20,000. 20, 20, so let's bring up our calculator, and we're going to shift our calculator to this side so we can see all our figures. Okay. <laughs> So we've got 20,000, 1, 2, 3, multiplied by, and we're going to say 0 0.045 over, a, uh, over? 12. 12. 12. Nice, because it's only a twelfth of the money. All right. How much money do I get? 75 rand. 75 rand. So I've now got 75 rand. How m oh, well, uh, that's the interest I've got. Yeah. How much, Carl, will I have at the end of my first month? 20,000... And 75 rand. Brilliant, hey? So it's 20,075 rand. Cool? Yeah. So how much do I now have, and I'll put it to you, if I had 20,075 rand at the end of month one, okay, James, how much money will I have at the beginning of month two? 20,075. It makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, because there's a matter of seconds between the end of one month and the beginning of the next. So I'm going to have 20,075 rand. Okay, now, what are we now going to do? Work out what zero Speak point... Speak nice, clear, loud, boldly, be proud of yourself. Okay, going to work out what 0 0.045 is and then over the 12 of the 20,075. Okay, brilliant. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Look how I'm changing the calculator, eh? But of 75. 75. Exact same thing. Push equals, and what do I now get? 75, 75 rand and what? 28, 28 cents. 28 cents. Brilliant. Do I have to round it to two decimal places? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Why? Money. Because it's money and money Brilliant. is always two decimal. 75, 28. So the next month now I've got 75 rand and 28 cents. Cool. Now, I know what's going through their mind. Please don't ask <laughs> me to add this. Okay. So, what is our answer going to be? It's going to be 20,150 uh, rand and... 28, 28 cents. 28 cents. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, folks. Do we understand how we're doing this? It's straightforward, isn't it? 
Let's have a look at another one, very similar to this. In fact, I don't want to do that. What I'm going to do now quickly oh, is look at a lovely <laughs> higher purchase question. All right, this is your guy's favorite. You love it. Let's go for it. So here we go. I just want to see, um, in fact, you know what? We're going to simplify this because we're running out of time. I'm going to say to you this. The fridge was 3,799 Rand. There's a bargain, okay? It's now only 3,293 Rand. So James goes off to buy the fridge, right? He goes to buy the fridge and realizes he doesn't have the money because he gave it all to Carl to buy lunch. So he's <laughs> only got 3,000. Uh, he doesn't have 3,293. Says to the uh, store manager, can I buy this on high purchase? The guy says, we got the perfect plan for you. Give us 15% deposit, pay 166 Rand a month for three years, and 7 Rand 50 a month admin fees. Okay, so first thing, what do we have to know, guys? You have to know what your... Calculate my... Interest. Deposit. Deposit. Yeah, that's the thing. Deposit. That's the thing. <laughs> interest, deposit. <laughs> okay, two thing. entirely different things, but nevertheless. <laughs> right, Carl, let's look, go to you. You seem Kay. to be quite checked up. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so it's 15%. I just want to say something about Carl. I really do. Not only is Carl a great mathematician, but he's also a great hockey player. He plays for our school's first team hockey, and we're very proud of him. In fact, he's the <laughs> highest goal scorer <laughs> in our school. The fact that he scored two goals for the opposition team on Saturday is, it's just, it's embarrassing. You know? it's like, how do you score two goals? Another two guys score two day. goals, but your team only gets two in total. <laughs> Mathematically, it makes no sense. But Carl, well done on your score. Thanks, sir. Just a pity it's for the wrong team. Okay, but let's get on with this, Carl. So, 15 over 100 multiplied now by what, Carl? The price. Which is what? 3293. Nice. 3293. Three, two, three. Two, three. Okay. And again, we're going to do it on our calculator. We're not going to do it in our head because that's just going to hurt us. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to say we've got 15% of what, Carl? Of uh, 3293. Uh, okay. Which no. gives me an amount of. I've made a mistake. Yeah, here. I was just going to say. Yeah. So. Look at this, hey? This How careless is, is that? Made, yeah. Let's just clear this whole thing. How? This is embarrassing. My lady, I apologize. Okay, so over 100 multiplied now by 3, 2, nine, nine, three. three equals. And what do we get? 493.95. Okay, remember that, hey? 400. Oops, my yeah. goodness. I don't know what's going on with me today. <laughs> Funny, weird, and incredible things. All right, you've remembered the amount? 400 and? Okay, great. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Four ninety three ninety five cents. But that's just the deposit. Yeah. We still got to add that monthly uh, amount. We got to pay every month. Now, how much is that? That I is a hundred and sixty six rand. For how many months, chaps? Well, 36, 12, 24, 36, 36 months. 36 months, absolutely. Okay, why 36 months? Because it's three years and there's 12, 12 months, months in a year. year. Brilliant. 12 months in a year, three years times 36. So we're going to again calculate her. Out she comes, and we're going to say 166 multiplied by 36, and we get an answer of? 5,976. Remember that, eh? Hey? 5,976 rand. Okay. <laughs> what else do we have to add to this car? The monthly admin fees. Brilliant. Okay. And the monthly admin fee is an amount of 7 rand 50 for how many months? 36. 36 months. And what are we going to do? 750 calculator. times 36. Okay. Calculator. <laughs> 750 <laughs> times 36. And so that gives me 270 rand. rand. Okay. So it's 270 Rand. How much am I paying for this fridge in total, chaps? Well, you add all of that up and Absolutely. then you'll find out. I've paid the deposit, I've paid the monthly fee, plus I've had to pay the admin fee. Guys, this fridge is costing me a week of money. You can yeah. already see it's going to be more. Though, it's going to be way more. It costs 3293 and already just on the monthly, we're paying 5976 Plus then we've already paid the 493 Rand, plus the admin fee. We're not going to add it up because we're running out of time and I want to do the challenge question for us. Okay, so the challenge question, here she is. So consider the table below which shows the monthly interest paid on a loan of 600,000 Rand, the monthly payment 
of 5,790 Rand 13 cents, the amount paid towards the actual loan and the balance owing at the end of every month. Okay, so let me explain what this question is about. So here we have someone who wants to buy a house, okay? And they see this cute little flat and it only costs 600,000 Rand. How scary is that? In the good old days, you could buy a mansion, my lady. Yeah, hey. You could. <laughs> but now you can't. So you can just buy a little flat. So there it is, 600,000 Rand for this tiny little uh, flat. Okay, are you putting lipstick on your yeah. face? <laughs> 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 or was that La Paz? Okay. La Paz. <laughs> All right. He says it's La Paz. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> there it is. Um, and 600,000 Rand is the amount of money now that is got to, he's got to borrow from the bank. Now, goes to the bank says, how much money do I owe you? The bank says, every month you pay us 5,000, and here's the figure, 5,790 Rand and 13 cents. Okay? Every month, without fail. Now, chaps, I want us to take note of this. Of that 5,790 Rand, only 790 Rand and 13 cents comes off the 600,000. Mm. 5,000 Rand is interest that's been charged to you in that month. Now, that's scary. Imagine paying 5,793 Rand a month and only 793 goes towards the loan. The rest of the money, the 5,000, is going off to paying uh, the actual, uh, is the interest mm -hmm. that you've been charged. But I want us to notice something. On month 40, look what begins to happen. We're still paying the 5,790, but now uh, only 4,698 is going to interest. 1,092 Rand is the actual capital. Okay, so 1,092 is coming off the amount I owe. Look what happens when we get to month 160. We still pay 5,790 Rand and 13 cents. Carl, how much of that is interest? 2,000, no, yeah, yeah 2,833 yeah. um, rand 79 cents. Okay, and how much is coming off your actual bond? Um, 2,956 rand. Okay, cents. brilliant. Right. Now, let's have a look what happens in month number uh, 240. Okay. We're paying 5,790. How much of that is interest, James? Uh, 47 rand. Only 47 rand. How much is coming off the bond, Carl? 5,742, wow. 28 cents. Okay. So in other words, when I start to take you out a loan, okay, most of the money initially is paying interest. Only a little bit is coming off that amount I borrowed. But towards the end of that loan, I'm now paying more towards my loan than the interest. Okay. Now, how do we plot that on a graph? First of all, guys, I need to ask you this. Do you think it's a simple interest or compound interest? Compound. It's compound. Compound, absolutely. Okay, because the interest is based on the amount that's owing. Oh, yeah. If it was simple interest, what would th this figure's 5,000, agree? Yeah. What would all these figures be? Stay the same. They would all be 5,000. Do we understand that? Mm -hmm. But they're not. They're going down based on the balance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So am I going to have a straight line or am I going to have a curvy line? Curved line. Curved line. A curvy line, right. So this is what happens. Now you saw that the actual interest is going down. Agreed? So when I start paying a loan, this is what begins to happen. This is my interest line. Okay, and we're running out of time, so I've got to go very quick. And what happened to the amount of my capital? That's hmm. going up. How's that? That was a phenomenal question. Guys, thanks for being in the studio. We've got a few seconds, and looney has got to say goodbye to everyone and tell them about the calculator and do all kinds of weird and wonderful things. <laughs> thanks for coming into the studio, and I'm sure we'll see you again shortly. Thank you, sir. Thanks, right, sir. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, guys, for joining us. Mindsetters, thank you for tuning in. Until next week, same time, same place, we'll see you. Don't forget to pick up James at the end of the show. Connor <laughs> Dover and Pretoria here in Randburg. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time. <laughs>